How's it going, God's beloved children? If we could just uh, share in the covenant between ourselves and the Father in heaven. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you are the blood, the flesh and blood that was given freely for us in order to have a free heaven and a free, a free relationship with the Father. That in your blood we are forgiven from north, south, and east to west forever, once and for all, and all for one, and one for all. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, and that your flesh represents us perfectly and freely in heaven, no matter what we do, because it's by grace that we've been saved and not of ourselves. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that your free living water and the tree of life is free for us to access. Amen. Um, you know, the thing is, in relation to how much the gospel has been hidden, we then act. And uh, Adam and Eve, they ate from the tree of death, and they were they hid because fear consumed them. Okay. Now, and the cross, the gospel, is is hidden in the very same manner. It's very funny that the forces of darkness try and impose this to hide from God. The darkness hates the light, lest the darkness is no more because of the light. Um, and the darkness and the light is, is, is not part of us, but also part of us, but also not part of us. You know, so we don't have to try and, uh, um, you know, do it ourselves or establish it ourselves. And um, the thing is with, with people is that nowadays they're still like this. They're looking at God through the bush. Oh, Father. I, I know you love me, but um, I did sin the other day, so I'm hiding behind the bush again. And so is the cross. So the cross of my salvation is, is also hiding behind the bush because I don't know whether that sacrifice was free and full. That's what you look like. That's what, when we, that's what we look like. When we are not in the full redemption of Christ. Why are you hiding? Lord, because I sin. But don't you know that your sin is already forgiven? Come out into the light that I may love you. That I may... That you may overflow with forgiveness and love. Do you not know that it's the absence of my love and my mercy that makes you grow old? Come out, child. And receive my love and my mercy. For the Lamb has been slain. This is very important. You must not hide behind your bush of works. You must not hide behind the bush of your possessions. You must not hide behind any other thing. Or anything. Because of Jesus Christ freely crucified. If we are eating, if our spirits are eating from our own self-righteousness. Okay. Or eating from the possessions of this world. It's, it's very plain and simple. Imagine your spirit eating yourself. Hey, imagine eating yourself. You would die. Imagine eating your possessions. You would die. How can you eat those things, okay, when they're not meant to be eaten? Do you understand? Your, our spirits eat of Christ. They eat freely, freely of Christ without cost. And the problem with depending on, on, on all these things is that when you eat of possessions and circumstances and your own self-righteousness and your good works and all these things, your spirit can't eat them. It, you can't eat them. I mean, if I'm going to eat this phone, I'm going to try and eat this phone. You're not going to eat it. You're not going to get the nutrition that you, your body needs. Do you understand? That nutrition comes from the source of life, which is Jesus Christ. And our spirits can freely feast and rest on Jesus Christ, crucified as enough more now and forever. And our spirits shall never die. And by the, the measure of what our spirits are thriving, shall our flesh effortlessly thrive also. But because our spirits are poor because and weak, because we don't eat from Jesus freely, our flesh is also poor and weak. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
because everything flows from the inside out and not the outside in. If someone goes in a man that defiles him, it's what comes out. Heaven needs to open up from within you. Okay. But this is what the Lord is saying to you. Come out from behind that bush. God's forgiveness is forever. You can't sin because sin was dealt with at the cross. The punishment was dealt with at the cross. The disobedience of Adam was dealt with at the cross. Okay, don't burden yourself with trying to change and things like that. It's not about that. It's about the price really paid. paid. And God is now at peace with you. Isn't the happiness of God over you more important than anything else? I mean, isn't this the point? He's happy, he's happy with me, isn't he? I mean, that's the point of life, isn't it? And only because of Jesus Christ crucified. This is... This is true. Why am I still trying to earn these things? And because people are still trying to earn it, they don't have it. And once you've stopped trying to earn it, you then have it. It's, it's common sense. If I believe that God is not at right, I'm not at right standing with God, or I'm up and down, or... I'm, I'm forgiven and then I'm under the law and all these kinds of things. Then it so it will be. But if I believe in Jesus Christ crucified, which means I'm already loved, already merciful, uh, God is already merciful to me, already blessed, already, 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 already. This is very important that we've got to live in the future and not in our past. Do you understand what I'm saying? The cross was in the past. And now we are living from that cross. It's very important. It's very, very important that we come out and freely receive the love and mercy of God that was paid with a great price. A great pull. The pull of a great price. You may freely come and eat from the tree of life. He's the way, the truth, and the life. Thank you, Lord. Amen.